Right, welcome Game of Virgins to Bible Study. Today we are looking at, well, you guessed it, the Bible. Nah, I'm kidding, we're looking at r slash yif in hell. So grab your Game of Virgin Bible and holy water because if you don't know what r slash yif in hell is, it's basically a subreddit for a bunch of smelly dogs. Nah, I'm kidding. It's a subreddit for furries and all the bad side of them. As always, guys, please don't harass anyone I talk about in the videos. There's bad sides of any community. And, well, we can just laugh at the bad side of the communities. With all that being said, enjoy the video. What would you do if this was your son? My whole path just begin. My dream of love you, bunny. I'll reach the end to be with you. Everything will be necessary. <laughs> what, is, what is going on here? Is this the rabbit from that Zootopia film? But the original question was, what would I do if this was my son? And I think I would do what any good father would do. And I think you guys are going to understand this. I'd just throw the biggest piece of cheese I could right at his face. And that would, that would be it. That would be the problem solved. But Gamer Virgins, what would you throw if you were in my situation like this, where you had to throw a piece of food at your son? It can be anything which is in your kitchen right now. It could be spaghetti, or if you're feeling adventurous, a whole pickle. I want to know in the comments down below. What, what even is this? No comments. Me after my Minotaur husband spaghetti 16 gallons inside of me. I think I'd actually understand what is going on if it was, I don't know, like an allergic reaction to 16 gallons of pure nut juice. Because 16 gallons, ladies and gentlemen, is a lot. But it's not. It's just, hey, here's me exploding after 16 gallons of 100% pure nut came in my direction. <laughs> you can't make this up. To actually give you guys an idea of just how much one gallon is, this is what one gallon of water looks like. I, I'm actually going to get a different picture because I don't know why this one just makes me uncomfortable. I mean, imagine just walking into the office one day and you just see, I don't know, Greg just drinking a gallon of water like this. So yeah, this is what one gallon of water looks like. Imagine 16 of just pure nut juice gallons like this literally causing you to explode. <laughs> it's just mental. Humanity is doomed at this point. What what even is this? Part of me is questioning, is this a fursuit or is somebody actually laid out their dog like this? There's, no, there's no way this, this is a real dog. Sure, surely not. You guys might be wondering, why, is, <laughs> why are there some poorly drawn denim jean shorts on this dog? And all I can say is the image was just so weird without them that I had to do something to make it a little bit no more normal. And the first thing which came to my mind was just, just draw some denim jean shorts. So just appreciate my art skills, people. Okay, this next one, I really need to emphasize the words on this. What the unbirthed by my beefy spaghetti tiger boyfriend. I mean, what? <laughs> what? Has anyone ever actually thought about what the word unbirthed actually means? Like, what do you do? Do you just grab someone, get their mom, and you just, like, get back up there, you little rascal? I'm gonna have to Google this. Oh my god, it, it actually is. Unbirthed, when someone forcibly gets sucked back into their mother's womb. It's like a black hole, but worse. And then here's the example. I didn't like Frank, so he forcibly unbirthed himself. <laughs> Ladies, this one seems to be aimed at you. Get your stank ass bits out of my fandom, or so it seems. Some prime venison for the ladies. Give this old cowboy a ride, ladies. How many times did I say ladies then? But here's what this angry furry had to say. Maybe get off your high horse and leave. This is our fandom. It's not for you females and your gross clam chowder. Anyone who thinks females have a place here is dead wrong and need to be eradicated. Furries are for dudes who like pee pee. And whether you like it or not, if we want your dear's noodles, we're allowed to have it. Don't like it? Too bad, sweetie. Now get your stank clam chowder out of my fandom if you know what's good for you. Oh, but he's really told you ladies that you're not allowed in the furry fandom with your nasty stank for JJ. <laughs> this was sent to me by my friend. I'm screaming. Welcome back, furries. Welcome back to school, furries. We are so glad to have you all back. 
Besides the cowards who stayed at home, after many months of catastrophic events, type your best owo in the comments to show your furry pride. Make sure to share this with other of our kin. Spread the word, furries. Ooh, ooh. Can you guys actually imagine the terror if there were actually furry high schools? Like, you had to be a furry to go to school there? I think that'd be a lot of people's just worst nightmare. Like, can you imagine if the teacher just called you up to the front of the classroom to solve a math equation and then just starts smelling you or whimpering when you get the answer wrong? That'd be, that'd be super weird. Fairy and chill. Okay, so you don't like Marxists. That's cool. You want to come up to my bunk and we can drink fruit shots, look at furry spaghetti, and discuss crop tikin. I don't know what that is. What's this say? You want to hang out at my place later? I just got the conquest of bread from the library. What? We could have a little fairy and chill. <laughs> Forget Netflix and chill, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about just go around theorizing with the opposite sex and just chilling. Fairy and chill. <laughs> Found this on Twitter. Point of view, you've snuck under a jock's desk. <laughs> do, do you know what? I'm not even I'm not even gonna try and laugh this off and give a reaction. I I am just so disappointed in this. This is this has ruined my day. What the frick? Come in reality. <laughs> Come in yith. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable having a real dog and the word come so close to each other. What's wrong with that? Ooh, ooh. Oh boy, if you liked my toe beans, you'll certainly love my toe jam. Just delete this. I mean, how, how would you even respond to this? Here's an example, guys. Here's a little game. What would you do if you came home and you caught your parents or partner doing something like this? You know, just sitting down in the front room with a furry hat on dipping their toes in some jam. Like, what would your honest reaction be? I would love to hear it in the comments down below. Save the kids. At first, I thought it was just a very fluffy dog. It's not a dog. Oh my god. I can't think of anything more scary than letting any child think they are playing with a dog only to realize it's actually a fully grown human pretending to be a dog. Am I the only one who just thinks that this could just be one of those scenarios you hear about on the news, which just doesn't end very well? Okay, this one's just been uploaded as I'm crying at the club. Never forget the time I got stuck in an elevator and one of the people was cosplaying a furry and wouldn't break character and started whimpering and clawing at the door. Okay, not only is it a p someone's nightmare to be stuck in an elevator because anything could happen, but you're then also stuck in an elevator with a furry who starts whimpering and clawing at the door. I, I honestly can't think of anything worse. Just throw a baguette at them. I'd be surprised if this didn't qualify for here. My lab instructor decided to wear his $2,000 handmade dog costume to class. I'm legitimately scared. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you, imagine if you had to go to school and everyone had to dress up as furries. I'm telling you, 2020 is already weird enough, but the next target is schools. This is just captioned as no, but can we just take a minute? to just understand how brave this young man is to be ordering a fast food meal in his My Little Pony Ahigo jacket or fleece. Man, 2020 is absolutely crazy. Right, so I think that's going to be it for our first furry subreddit. It definitely was an experience. I'm going to have to get a whole cookbook of words to use, it seems, to try and hide the spaghetti words. But don't worry, I'll still try to be a chad about the words that I use. I hope you enjoyed the video, Gamer Virgins. All of my socials are down below. Follow me on there. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time.